Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to look how to install dBeaver in your Windows. So for that we need to first open the Chrome and we need to search for dBeaver. And you can open the website for dBeaver.io. So here you can see the download option. So dBeaver is nothing but it is a tool to manage all the database in a single platform. So this is a very useful tool. So in order to download you can click on download option. And here you can see the download option available for the dBeaver. So we need to install it for the windows so we can download windows installer it started downloading yeah download is completed now now we can open to install so you can double click on the exe file it will open the pop-up you can click ok now you can go with the default options you can agree the conditions and you can go with user and you can go with the default ones and this is the location where it is going to get installed so this is the requirement so you need 127 MB and space available now dbeaver have been successfully installed now let's try to open it so you can go to start button and you can see dbeaver has been successfully installed now let's open it yeah so this is the ui for the dbeaver so you can close this and maximize the window so in order to create a new connection you can click here new database connection now we need to connect it for the mysql so you can select mysql so here you need to give the host name and the port. So in our case it is running on localhost 3306. And here we need to log in as a root user and we can need to give the password. So we can keep the password over here. After giving the password you can just click on finish. Now you can see it is successfully connected and we can see the database. So these are the databases available. So if you want to create a new database, you can simply go here right click create new database. You can give the database name test underscore database and you can click ok so if you open the database you can see our database has been created and if you want to create a new table right click new table you can give the new table name over here employee table employee and you can add columns from here column name employee id mb underscore id which is a data type worker okay you can one more employee name you can give it as care okay can save it and here it will show the query to create the database and you can click on press persist so it will create the database so you can see the employee database has been created and it's called so in order to get the data view table so this is how you can work with the dbver i hope you have liked the video thanks for watching